We're here at Tusker House here in Africa to see if this character dining experience is right for you and your family. What do you think? I already know my answer. <laughs> So today the park opened at 8 o'clock. We actually had an 8.35, very specific, 8.35 reservation. Uh, there's someone right at the front with an iPad checking people in. As soon as your table is ready, I'll send you a text message, then you go up to the blue doors, and it's as simple as that. Overall, the check-in process was about uh, 10 minutes. It wasn't bad at all. And then literally we were greeted with like this, this full-on dance. All the characters were out, they were doing their thing. Our amazing waitress, Denise, shout out to Denise, uh, hooked us up with some coffee and some pog juice, which Quincy I'm sure is very jealous about. If you're not doing Tusker House this way, coffee in one hand and pog juice in the other, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Fry and stage breakfast date. Yeah, but you're jealous. <laughs> He's he here. And you're ready for safari and everything? Yes. Well, I even wore my Kilimanjaro safari shirt for you. Oh, how sweet. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're both ready for safari. <laughs> yes. Yes, you look we're great. Thank you, like my ears? Yeah. I had to dress for the occasion. You know, coming to see you at Tusker House. Can you know what your safari. favorite animal is on safari? Oh. Okay. Uh, a, gaz wait, is it a gazelle? Oh, oh good okay. guess. Yeah, Con context clues. I'm good. Really good at that. <laughs> Mickey's good at charades. <laughs> really good. Yeah, yeah. So, yes, this is a character dining buffet. Multiple characters come to your table. Can we just talk about that? Okay, like Mickey Mouse's favorite animal is on safari is a gazelle? I That, that was a surprise. No, that's canon now. That's what that is. Let's start spreading the news. You heard it here first. Mickey confirmed his favorite animal is the gazelle. It's a gazelle. Which means that's the best animal. Clearly. Yeah. Good. That watch watch the gazelle stock market prices just shoot up. Yeah. People want gazelles now. Oh, so let's go check out the buffet. Buffet time. Woo! With so many different character meals at Disney World, we are here today to help you decide if Tusker House is right for you and your family. We're going to be talking about the food, the characters, and the overall vibes to see if you want to make this restaurant a must-do on your next Disney vacation. Now, Tusker House is a table service character buffet located in the Africa section of Disney's Animal Kingdom. Now, in order to eat here, you must have both a dining reservation and a park reservation. They are open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast is served from 8 to 10.30 lunch from 11 to 3.30, and dinner from 3.35 to 7 o'clock. Now breakfast is actually the cheapest meal here at $30 for kids and $47 for adults. And then both lunch and dinner will cost $40 per child and $62 per adult. And honestly, this is actually my first time eating at Tusker House for breakfast. So I'm excited to try some new things. But in case you're traveling here for lunch and dinner, you might find Moroccan spiced beef, Berber marinated pork, split roasted herb chicken, maybe even some green curry shrimp. And because it is a buffet, there is always a kid's section of the buffet. Probably one of the best sections. I don't know, maybe I'm just being me. The younger ones will find potato barrels, bacon, yogurt, fruit for breakfast. And if the younger ones are coming here for lunch and dinner, you might find the mac and cheese or uh, some chicken tenders. You never know. Now we've already met Mickey Mouse. But surprisingly, he is not the one hosting this character buffet. The one who's hosting this character buffet is actually Donald Duck. And he's just having his friends along for the journey. We found, we found, we found the one. Oh, oh my goodness, stop, no. Just the oh. safari princess. Hey. <laughs> I love it. Love like, Yugi, we've been asking everybody, what's your favorite um, safari animal? The elephant. Okay, the elephant. Awesome. Oh. oh, what a nice hug. All right, so I hope we're keeping a tally of all this, right? Okay. This is all canon now. Let's not forget. Hey, how's it going? What are you doing here? I know my friend, he's getting more food. He's not here with me yet. I'm not here by myself. So, but I did just get a lot of food. It looks very good. Yeah. I wish I could eat some with you. I mean, if you need to take a seat and just take a break, I understand. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> I, I didn't get to ask you. I got to ask Lucy and Mickey what their favorite safari animal was. Apparently, Mickey's favorite safari animal is a gazelle. And, and Goofy is an elephant. 
Okay, so what is your favorite safari animal? Giraffe. Got it. Yes. Giraffe. Yes. I'm, I'm a tall guy myself, so I, I like it. I love it. Mickey's favorite animal? Patel. Goofy's favorite animal? Elephant. Now Donald's favorite animal? Giraffe. I don't know what's happening. So we got a couple different things. First plate, because there will be multiple, we got zebra coffee cake. We got, this was only called sliced bread. It didn't have a fancy name, but it's obviously very fun sliced bread. That's like a, that's like a Lion King sunset bread. Yes. That's what we call it. Oh yeah. Lion King sunset bread. They have Mickey waffles. They also have Nala waffles. They're not Simba, or maybe they are Simba. They look like Nala. I also grabbed some bacon, some breakfast potatoes, eggs, and grapes. I think first I want to try the zebra coffee cake. Regular coffee cake, nothing super special about it, but it's got nice crumblies on the top. It's your typical Disney egg. It's, it's good. That's pretty good. I like my bacon crispy, like extra crispy. A lot of the times Disney's bacon is not that, but this is pretty crispy and I like it. So I'm pleasantly surprised. Have to try waffle. Oh yeah, that's a good Disney waffle. Just like you always remember, had to go get some syrup. They do have a little station here where the syrup is separate. You go grab a little cup, fill it up, bring it back. Love that there's a different character kind of waffle here and Mickey waffles, so you can have both. So I got some I got some adventurous things because Tusker House is known for its more adventurous African South African eats. We're gonna start off with the chicken curry. Uh, and it's not as, as you can see there's some, some chickpeas in there I believe. We're gonna see what that's all about. Jasmine rice. This is actually sh uh, shakshuka. This is babodi and this is a banana bread pudding. I have a feeling these aren't going to be your typical state if you've ever had uh, banana bread pudding before. Uh, the inside is actually, it's green. It's green? It is indeed, oh, it is indeed green. That's fun. Yeah, so I have a feeling these are all going to be just a tad adventurous, uh, familiar titles, just in more adventurous flavors. So <laughs> while you enjoy your chicken and waffles, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get adventurous for a second. First things first, I am going to try the babodi. Now, babodi is typically a South African dish consisting of uh, spiced, minced meat baked with an egg-based topping. But this is actually impossible babodi, which means it is plant-based. Interesting, shall we? It reminds me of like a lasagna meat without the noodles. It is plant-based. Um, I think Disney does a really great job of making plant-based things accessible to everybody and not just um, plant-based eaters. Which is funny because it's South African, but I'm getting more Italian vibes. Overall though, it's seasoned well. I like it a lot. Not a bad start to an adventure seat, which I feel better about. Uh, we're gonna save that for last because I'm just not a big fan of the of the, of the the raw-ish egg. I can eat it. Really? You like raw eggs? Yeah. Get out. I mean, not like raw raw, but like that's fine. You know, it's, but I'm like I'm a person who goes to get an omelet somewhere. I always ask for over hard. Uh, yeah. See, I don't have to do that. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe maybe you'll eat that. We'll both do it. We'll both do it. Uh, but we'll do this the chicken curry. It's very good. The chicken kind of absorbs the curry flavor, so it's not super curry forward. But there's definitely a, uh, there's definitely a great curry flavor to it. Now they're not going to be your big uh, pieces of chicken. It's it almost reminds me of like. A, a chicken stew because it's very it's very liquidy. After talking to some of the really great cast members here, and you can ask them questions about the food, Cape Malay chicken curry, which is basically a South African one pot. So I was right; it is supposed to be a little bit like a stew. It's uh, chicken curry and vegetables all within kind of like a liquidy one pot that you can uh, scoop up and uh, eat it just like that. So definitely giving off those South African vibes here at Tusker House. Overall, I'm really impressed so far with some of my adventurous eats. They're not as adventurous as I thought they would be. So I guess that's what I'll say. I came in here real nervous because I'm not a huge adventurous eater, but not bad. Jasmine rice. I'm a big white rice lover. It definitely tastes like it's been sitting in a buffet. You know what I mean? Where like the under part is really good, but the over part, a little crusty. You want to go back to your American breakfast fry? I told you we can share. <laughs> I will say my favorite part so far has been the coffee cake. The coffee cake is gone. 
no longer here with us. Um, but I do like... R.I.P. <laughs> R.I.P. may go get another one. I don't know. But I do like sweet breakfast over savory. So that's kind of what I gravitate towards. But I've also eaten the eggs. They're really good. Um, and the bacon. So I will be going back for seconds. Possibly thirds. It's time for the ultimate task. To find out if the... Pick it up. <laughs> if the... If the sunset bread is really anything other than just colorful sliced bread. It smells like white bread. Oh, good. <laughs> just white bread. <laughs> so it's just a colorful way to spice up your bread, I guess. Yeah, they got jams and jellies. Still avoiding the shakshuka. Green banana bread pudding. That's really good. Yeah, I actually really enjoyed that. It's one of those icings that hardens on top of the bread, up. so it's it's you've got like a nice moist. I don't want to say soggy because soggy usually has a bad connotation, uh, but I, I want to say um, a softer, a wetter uh, because it's bread, it's a bread pudding under uh, underneath it, and then like a hardened layer of icing on top, which is a cool texture element, and it's it's sweet. I, I'm not totally sure why the banana bread is green. I, I'm assuming it has something to do with whatever spices they use in this. Okay, it's a fruit. The fruit. Blueberries. What? Blueberries. The, oh, okay. Thank you, Denise. So apparently it's, it's not green. It's just a tint to hue of blue that's turning the, from the from blueberries that are turning the bread green. So it's not Ban it's banana blueberry bread pudding? I guess. Well, you learn something every day. I don't know what my issue is with this shakshuka. You don't have to eat it. Oh, we are here for the people. We are here for the reviews. Shakshuka is a dish of eggs poached in a sauce of tomato, olive oil, peppers, onions, and garlic. Commonly spiced with cumin, paprika, and cayenne pepper. Now the reason that it is here in Tuscan House is because this dish actually originated in North Africa, like in the 16th century, uh, which is kind of cool. Be better than me, Fry. You, you, I'll, I'll, you dig in first. Okay. But, but we'll still do it together. Yeah. But I just need you, you, you take the first whatever you're gonna do. That's okay. Show me how it's done. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 just made it worse. Uh, no, I just I, I don't I don't love raw. This I know it's not raw. Okay. You don't need to eat the egg. I will eat the egg. You eat the. No, egg. I. You know what? I might take you up on that. Uh, I gotta do it now. Do it now. Do it now. That's got some really good spices in there. I like it. That was good. I'm gonna all right. All right. I'm gonna have to take a smaller bite. I've I've, I've gone fully in. I'm doing the bread. The. Uh, egg, the tomatoes, it's a little messy, but this is how how you're, you're supposed to do it all in one foul swoop. Emphasis on the foul. Mm. Oh. Okay, here's the thing. I don't like the texture of the egg, the bread, but however, the flavors were nice, the, spot, the, the spices were nice. I would say if they're dropping shakshuka, like if you see them drop it on the buffet, get it immediately and eat it. Because um, the, the bread, I feel like you're supposed to have the crunch texture and it's just kind of like, it's just, it's just soggy. The egg is kind of cooler and it's probably, but spice is really good. Um, I get, I don't know, it must be the tomato, it's gotta be the tomatoes. I'm getting Italian from this. Yeah. You get Italian from this? Yeah. More Italian. I wonder if later on in the evening the flavors become more adventurous. Breakfast, I find, even when we do, uh, even like when we do uh, more adventurous places that aren't here, I wonder if uh, the breakfast is a little more mild. All right, we are heading back for round two. Some people have game plans when they go into buffets. You don't go, you know, I'm gonna start off with a salad and then maybe some meats. You're like, no, if I see that, I'm just gonna get it. Yeah. Same. That makes it exciting. Yeah, samesies. That's how I got my nickname from Quincy. What's your nickname? Well, we, we, uh, so we have a whole review on uh, uh, Crystal Palace. You check the video up on the channel. But she, she kept going back to get honey butter, so I called her honey butter. But she always makes me, for the last meal, 
have a dessert and a piece of meat. So she calls me meat, uh, meats and sweets. Yeah, I do remember that now. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like the name. And while we're grabbing our round two of food, I'm gonna show you, there's a bunch of different rooms in here. So this is the first room when you walk into Tusker House. This is where the buffet is located. There's Goofy, he's just hanging out. Hey, thank you, Mwah. love ya. <laughs> so this is the room where the buffet is. This is the main dining area, not the main dining area. This is the main buffet area. All the food is in here. There are a few tables in here as well. We are actually in this room, so we're this way, way back to the back. Um, and the room kind of even goes further. There's more that way. So this is actually a really big restaurant. Very important. Look at all the details in this restaurant because there's things everywhere for you to look at. It's so much fun. It makes this restaurant what it is. And there's also one more little room back here as well. This one's a little bit more secluded, a little bit quieter. Um, right next to the restrooms that are back here down the hallway. So there are a couple different rooms in this restaurant. So depending on where you get seated, you know, you can always, I don't know if you necessarily have a preference for this restaurant, you can ask for it. Can't always be guaranteed, but Disney cast members will try their best to accommodate you in whatever way possible. You know, after being adventurous, I was like, no more. You know, I mean, I'm always down to be adventurous, but I was feeling like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, find food that is brown and enjoy it. I enjoyed what I, the, the other stuff, I'm just saying, I just, these are definitely things that I'm like, I'm really gonna enjoy this, but I also found some adventurous things too. Some obvious things that I know I'm going to enjoy, the potato barrels, AKA tater tots. They actually do have a build your own omelet station uh, where you can build your own omelet, but they actually just have some ready to go omelets as well that are just pretty uh, much uh, egg and cheese. And they have sweet and spicy mustard that can go on top of it. Uh, vegetable frittata, surprisingly frosted flakes with 2% milk. I mean, why not? Denise is the best. So I'm to say that out loud. There's a lot of things that are hard to pronounce here. There's a lot of a South African, which is, which is uh, uh, you know, not our, not our typical culture. Uh, so that's why you come here, right? To experience new cultures. My adventurous thing is mealy pop, which is basically a South African porridge dish, which uh, we'll get into in a second. This is my healthier plate. <laughs> I did get another piece of coffee cake because that's really good. I went and got some yogurt. It's got some granola and fruit on top. And I got the watermelon feta salad. And I got another Simba waffle because I could only get those here. I needed another one. So, so you're right. So you're saying you gave up on the rest of this Tusker House review? Kind of. <laughs> yeah, like I just want good food. I just want what I want. I got the print. We got the pretty plates for the website, and now I want to eat what I want to eat. Check it out on all he's done. <laughs> I also got one hard-boiled egg. I wanted more, but there's only two left, and there's a guy in line behind me, so I didn't want to take the last one. But I guess that's the thing about buffets is that you can literally go down the line, get something small from each little um, area, and then you've had it all. So once you've had it all, then you can go back and just get your favorites. Exactly. First things first, the potato barrel. It's a potato barrel. If you know what a tater tot tastes like, this is it. Frosted Flakes 2% milk. This is not the interesting part of the review. Frosted Flakes. <laughs> I'm gonna do the vegetable frittata. There's an entire layer of like like cheese that just came off the top. Well, I'm, I'm gonna have to get a fork and a knife. Right, while he's getting his frittata in order, I am- Get an order. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna try the yogurt. That is good. Simple vanilla yogurt with all the fixins on top. I can tell that it was sitting out for a little bit because it is a buffet. So the granola is really like soft and mushy. I would prefer it to be like straight out of the bag, more crunchy. It's still a nice healthy option, which I can appreciate here in Disney World, because when you eat real Disney food all the time, it's a lot. Did you just say you want your yogurt straight out of the bag? Oh, I was like, you, why do you get your yogurt from a bag? No, I get the granola. Oh, okay. It's crunchy. Uh, PSA kids, don't get your yogurt from a bag. <laughs> if you're doing that, you're doing it wrong. Please don't. <laughs> Here's my vegetable frittata. All right, here we go. A couple different flavors in there. You can definitely taste some peppers. Like some red pepper, definitely taste some onions. Thank goodness for the cheese, because that adds another flavor on top of that. My overall takeaway, though, is that it is pretty dry. If you're gonna, it, it is, um, 
it is, uh, I feel like, a powdered egg situation with uh, some of these vegetables stirred in and then cheese layered on top, which that doesn't sound bad, and it's not bad. It's just a little dry. It could use a little bit of a heat, like a Tabasco sauce or, or, or ketchup. They do have Tabasco sauce and ketchup available if you're into that. But that's what I would add to this, just to make it uh, a little better. Okay, so here on the side, this is my adventurous eat for this plate, really. It's mealy pap. Uh, a mealy pap is a South African porridge, usually just made with sugar, milk, uh, kind of a grit material, and, uh, and some brown sugar to taste. Wanna try that? Right, it's intriguing. To me, it tastes like a, um, it's like a, it's not, it's not totally sweet. There's a little bit in there. There's a little bit of sweetness in there. I'm gonna say if, all right, if this is the meter, right? And then this is savory and this is sweet, it's it's here. Because it's not not savory. I feel like the sweet part comes from the bean, the, the, the spiced up version of the beans, where the savory part comes from the, uh, the actual grits porridge itself. Same thing if you're just like a maple butter. That's the same kind of situation where it's like sweet and savory. That was a, that was a lot for like a, a little thing of porridge. Yeah, but it's very good. It's good. I can't believe she's here. Finally, she's waiting We've been here. waiting this whole time. Have a queen. queen herself. How are you, baby? Good. So we've been asking everybody. All right, and I'll, and I'll think you, you'll get a kick out of this too, Daisy. Talking about uh, everyone's favorite safari animals. Apparently, Mickey's favorite safari animal is a gazelle. Uh, uh, Goofy's was an elephant. Uh, your man's was a giraffe. And do you have one? Your favorite safari animal? Yeah, Gira a giraffe too? Okay, all right. That, that's cute. I like that. That's good. That's why you guys are a cute couple. I love it. I guess I could try the salad. That's very nice and refreshing. The watermelon with the feta, plus a little bit of onion in there. That's really good. I don't think I could eat a whole lot of it. Everything I got on my plate, round two, great, delicious. Um, I don't think you want me to review a hard boiled egg. But do it, do it. This, this is the third kind of egg that I've had at this breakfast. Gross. I like eggs. <laughs> I don't know. I like eggs. Uh, I am successfully full mm -hmm. and full of South African spices yes. as well as lots of eggs. Yes. We had a lot of eggs. We did. Lots of different kinds of eggs. Uh, and colored bread! Yeah, that's fun. So for the price point, which we talked about earlier, uh, do you think it's worth it? Uh, buffet, character, ambiance, all of it. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I mean, overall, in Disney World, character dining experience are going to be expensive. Breakfast is the cheaper option. Yep. So especially for breakfast, I do think it's worth it. I think it's super fun to start your day with some characters, especially in their fun safari outfits. Um, I do like I do prioritize characters when I come to Disney World, so this is something that's very important for me. Might not be that important for you and your family. You might want to go ride rides. So it's all about you and what you want to prioritize, but for me, it would absolutely be worth it. I think what's really great is we got a very early uh, breakfast reservation. I think that's kind of the trick. If you can grab an early breakfast reservation, you're still going to uh, have some time for those rope dropping attractions. But you can maybe spend, I don't know, maybe an hour, 45 minutes to an hour here, do everything you need to do, eat, have a great breakfast, meet all the characters. We had multiple character interactions with, uh, the, uh, with Goofy, uh, Donald, Mickey, and Daisy multiple times. They came around multiple times. Uh, we learned actually quite a lot about them. So, and this is the only place you can see them in these in these safari outfits. So, I think that makes this uh, Tusker House experience even that more special. Oh, I agree, and especially because it is Animal Kingdom, there's not as many rides in this park, so you can spend a little bit of your morning doing a sit-down character breakfast and still have plenty of time the entire day to do everything in Animal Kingdom. Now we'll get into the thing that we're all talking about, the reason we're here, the food. Was it good? Did we enjoy it? I expected it to be a little more adventurous. It's more of a relaxed African flavor, if that makes sense at all. Uh, you're still gonna get all the same flavors, like uh, your tater tots and your eggs and your bacon and your omelets. 
uh, but there will be some specific dishes that will be elevated with some cultural differences, which I think is really interesting. I have never been a picky eater, so I'm totally comfortable and I love trying new things. Um, I will say I've been here with my family and my family, again, is picky eaters but um, there's something here for everybody. I would say that breakfast is better for picky eaters than lunch and dinner because there's more of those options that everybody is used to and what they eat back home. So if you're leaning on this restaurant and trying to decide between picky eaters, I would go for breakfast and not lunch or dinner. One of my favorite parts of Africa are African drummers that are coming out, so we gotta wrap this up. Okay. All right, quick, what was your favorite part? Uh, favorite part, characters, specifically Goofy. He had great dance moves today. He did have good dance moves. Yeah. Um, randomly, my, I think my favorite part was uh, the blueberry banana uh, bread, bread pudding. pudding. Oh. I don't know yeah. why. I just really enjoyed that. Yeah, it was good. That was really good. Also the Simba bread. It was just plain bread, but it was so pretty. I forgot to tell you my tip. Um, get your beverage to go. This is my third cup of coffee, and I'm taking it to go. So, if you're at a table service restaurant and you're drinking a beverage, obviously not alcoholic drinks, but coffee, soda. She probably would have done it with the pog juice, too, but I wanted some coffee to go. So, be sure to grab your to-go cup. Nailed it. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Now go watch us review every single booth at the Festival of Holidays in Epcot. Bye. Oh, Jumbo. Jumbo.